Well, and my name is uh, Stephen Smith, and uh, I'm uh, I'm a filmmaker, and I've been making uh, feature films on, that are looking at the changes that are happening in in the Arctic today. One of the big misconceptions is that the Arctic is about glacier ice. And as it turns out, about 10% of the surface area of the Arctic that is ice covered is actually glacier ice. The rest of it is frozen ocean. There's actually this thing called the Arctic Ocean. And that means under the North Pole, there's no land, there's this huge ocean and it's covered with ice. And what's important about that ice is that in the summertime, the Earth is actually pointed towards the sun. The top end of the world is pointed towards the sun, which means all of the incoming solar radiation is actually hitting the North Pole area, that whole Arctic Ocean area, and it's being reflected back out to space when there is ice present. 93% of the incoming solar radiation goes back to space. But as soon as that ice disappears, it's the reverse. All of that solar energy goes into the world ocean atmosphere system. So we're trying to draw attention to that because it's actually the single greatest component of the whole climate change uh, scenario is what is happening to sea ice and yet we don't even have any idea what the Arctic is all about. People don't understand that the Arctic is a, is a really relevant part of our day-to-day -day life and it affects climate over the whole planet. So uh, that's our, our, our proposal is actually, uh, our project I should say, is, is actually geared towards introducing people to the Arctic, introducing them in to oceanic ice way, in a very fun way, exactly. <laughs> We're going so. on a kayak journey. We're bringing a scientist with us and people are just gonna learn about the ice through an adventure, like, you know, four weeks in a kayak with, you know, polar bears and walruses and wildlife and ice and currents and wind and more ice and they'll know about it at the end. And so, well, uh, will, will part of your project also reflect how the climate change and the melting Arctic sea ice is impacting frontline communities, um, you know, native indigenous people who live in that area who depend on the walruses and the seals, you know, to eat um, that are obviously going through changes themselves. Uh, how, what, tell us about the complete picture of the Arctic that's beyond what's happening in addition to the ice and how it's impacting people as well? You know, that's a really good question. But I think one really interesting thing about the melting Arctic is it actually affects every person on Earth equally. So it's easy to see how the indigenous people are affected by the melting ice because they, you can see that they need the ice to travel on and to get their food. But we down here, we are affected. Like this day, 93 degrees, April 29th, Washington, D.C., this is an effect. The way when the Arctic melts, there's all kinds of complicated things going on, but basically an infusion of all this fresh water into the salt water, which changes all of the ocean currents and the jet stream, and all of a sudden the weather all over the world is going freaky. So melting ice of sea ice isn't about like the sea level rising. It's about the change in atmospheric conditions for the entire world. So yep. yeah, so our feature really wants to bring it home that the ice is for every single person on the planet, indigenous and non-indigenous, frontline and not frontline. And of course, the closer you are to living in the margins of society, the more you will feel that effect. But everyone's going to feel that effect. And our grandchildren, great-grandchildren, our great-great-great-great-great-grandchildren, they're all going to feel it. Unless you do something now. <laughs> well, it's interesting, Diana, because what Diana's saying is so true. If, if you want to think of it, um, we're taught about climate change through media, through, through, through all sorts of different sources. And the sense that the population as a whole has is that climate change is coming and it's creeping in, right? Creeping in. We've got glaciers melting down, we've got sea level creeping up, as an example. But actually, when sea ice melts, it's a light switch. It's a light switch on climate. It is no longer a creep. It means that we've gone from this 93% of the incoming solar rays going back to space to suddenly the reverse. It's all going to the Earth climate system. And so I think that's really important to realize about sea ice. It's probably one of the most relevant pieces of, for, for all of us to understand. And yet, I don't think anyone really understands this in the general populace. It's very, very much a, a, a uh, a, a subject that, that has not had its time yet, you know. So for people that are interested in the production of your film, how can people find out more about Enduring Ice and how can they support it if that's, they, they want to see this project come to fruition? That's a great question. We have a website. It's EnduringIce.com. 
It's going to be up online next week. We're just at the very, very beginning project stages of this project, but we want people to know about it. Yes, and it already goes to the production company itself, but, yeah. but to, to get more information, yes, EnduringIce.com.